Good afternoon or good evening or whatever it is to everybody out there. It is our next episode in the continuing adventures of Lieutenant Damo Tully, our Delta recruit for the Federation. Uh, today we're going to be playing Secret Orders. Just as a heads up, there's no accolade, or excuse me, there's two accolades in here. Uh, one for stopping the uh, research and one for stopping Bavat. But at the end of this one, unlike a lot of them, there isn't going to be anything that we're going to find. You know how we've got the Iconian tech. So in this one, we don't have any Iconian tech. The next one will be in Temporal Ambassador. So I'm not having to go look for that this time around. Um, I have upgraded this a little bit by adding in my basic tactical kit, but everything else is the same as last time around. The question is, do we want to stick with two sets of beams and one torpedo? Do we want to go to all beams? I think we're going to stick with what we've got, but we can upgrade that. And I think we're going to go have somebody craft some phaser relays when we're done. Yay, having a bigger Big Brother tune. All right, so here we go with secret orders. Thanks for having me along, Lieutenant. I look forward to solving this little mystery with you and your crew. Right, to business. Long-range sensors are picking up several Klingon battle groups. They appear to be placing self-replicating disruptor cannon turrets throughout this region of space. If we don't take out those cannons now, this entire asteroid belt will be bristling with Klingon defenses. Well, the composition of this nebula will make maneuvering at high speeds impossible. In addition, the briar patch contains pockets of metrion gas. The gas is highly reactive to weapons fire, and it could be very dangerous. Starfleet recommends that we keep at least four kilometers away from any of the gas clouds. This should keep us safely out of range if one of them happens to ignite. However, the gas can also be used as a weapon. Do you remember the Riker maneuver? If we detonate the pockets of gas when the Klingons are close to them, they'll do a lot of our work for us. Lieutenant, as you are aware, the Metrion clouds in this system require us to maintain a low impulse speed or risk damage to the ship. I do. It's a little on the radical side. I think if we modify the Bussard collectors to filter out only a percentage of the Metrion particles, then we could use excess energy to go to full impulse without any risk to the ship. I'm not exactly sure what percentage that might be, though. Too risky. We'll adhere to Starfleet guidelines on speed for this mission. Note to self, avoid Metrion gas. Let's see if evasive maneuvers will help. Ooh, it does help.
Sensors are picking up energy signatures near the large asteroid. Looks like defense turrets guarding a facility on the asteroid surface. Judging by the layout I'm reading here, there's a KDF military research station built into the asteroid. I think it's worth investigating. Our Klingon friends are up to some mischief in that base, I'll wager. Aha! It's in the donut asteroid. Now if we could only rubber band forward. I don't know if it will be close enough to make this work, but let's give it a try. We'll aim for the Metreon gas that's just above the turrets. It looks like it's slightly more than four kilometers, but... Worth a try. one over there that might work too. So no love there. Let's see if we can get it on this one. All right, we me down to the station. Oops, sorry, forgot the dialogue there. Let's cancel that one. Excellent. The defenses have been neutralized. We should be able to proceed. With your permission, I'll join the away team. I believe they're standing by, awaiting your orders. Heads up, I'm reading several Klingons in the area, but my tricorder is also picking up two additional life signs ahead. Hostages, perhaps? <sighs> that hurt. way.
subtle as a bag of hammers. things. Okay, despite what it says, there's actually Iconian tech here. Translation don't always believe. Still wiki. All right, let's go talk to these people. Both scientists are safe, thankfully. I suggest we locate those weapons now. We can set up explosive charges and, ro and remotely detonate them when we return to the ship. Good idea. Let's find those weapons. Ah! There's our Iconian tech right there. respect. With respect, Damo, don't stand in the door when it's about to explode. Seriously, dear. You're gonna get hurt. Okay, let's make sure everybody's got toys. You can have that one. Coles, there you go. To Frel, it's not much, but we're gonna give you that one right there. Okay, everybody's got a toy. Let's do this!
There's a computer core nearby. Let's see if we can upload its content to your ship's computer. The data we find may give us insight into how the Klingons were planning to use these weapons. We may even find hints of Bivat's ultimate plan. So there's our first accolade. We have the data. Preliminary analysis indicates... Hold on. Something's happening. Sensors are picking up a Klingon vessel leaving the facility. We could really use you back on the bridge, Lieutenant. Let's beam up. Face to face at last with one of the Federation's greatest officers. I've read much about you, though I'm not as impressed as our intelligence agents are. After all, you were rather easily led to this system by a few well-placed pieces of bait. I've had pet talks with more sense. I have everything I need from the research station, but I must say, Humiliating a Federation war criminal is, as the humans say, an added bonus. <laughs> Try to stop us if you must. However, I won't think poorly of you if you walk back to Earth with your tail between your legs. There to whimper at your master's feet. You have lost this day. Victory is mine and mine alone. Kapla! Tactical, what's the situation? Never mind Bavat, Lieutenant. We have more immediate concerns. I'm reading several Klingon ships on sensors. Looks like they're attempting to escape the system. Looks like they're trying to use the asteroid belt to mask their warp core signatures. If we hurry, we should be able to intercept them. Might as well, we're right here.
We stopped the thought from escaping with his experimental weapons, but I don't know how. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Pavat won't be getting his hands on those experimental weapons, and we recovered a lot of actionable intel from that base. I've transmitted the data we pulled from their computer core to Starfleet Intelligence. Here's hoping it gives us the edge we need to bring an end to this conflict once and for all. All right, we're going to turn this one in here. I've read the after-action report filed by Lieutenant Van Ziel. Pity we weren't able to apprehend Bavart, but I'm glad we shot that weapons facility down. Nicely done. As for that weapons research the Klingons were conducting, Starfleet has some of our best people analyzing the data you recovered. We'll find out what Bavart and his people were doing there soon enough. There's a lot more intel to analyze, and I suspect we'll be working again soon. Klingons don't tend to think small, and we'll need the best we can get to deal with Bavat and his... His... machinations. Alright. Oh, what do we want? That's a good question. What does the Azalea need? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go with Neutralium Alloy. Okay, let's take the Doomsday device. Okay, let's accept that one. Alright, so did we get anything we want to switch out? Nope, we're still working with the same equipment. Let's go over here, switch this out. Didn't pick up a lot. Oh, nope, let's do that one instead. There we go. Much better toys. All right, so we're going to leave it here for the moment. Let's see if there's anything we want. Nope, we're good here. Uh, we'll, we'll be back with the next episode. Let's make sure, though, that we've got everything we need here. Yep, everything's done. We're keeping up with our Iconian tech. Let's see what happens with the next episode. I know the next episode, but at least we won't be stuck on going at sub-warp speeds the whole time. I hope. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Enjoy playing the uh, Delta Recruit arc. And we will... What's that Delta Recruit? Iconian Recruit? These guys. Delta Recruits. Yeah, those guys. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.